Hi everyone, me again. Um, I'm still building up my character, but I wanted to show you a couple of things that you can do to make this process easier. If you're going to do it uh, as I'm trying to do it, I'm going to uh, load the game that I made. Say so I made this um, save called Grinding. I'm going to restore that. First of all, notice uh, that I do have an additional point that I didn't have at the end of the last video. That's because I have defeated some brigands. For the fighter character, you get uh, points for the first time you defeat each monster type. So the first time I killed a brigand, I got an, I got one more point for that. So that's why there's uh, well, my score is 75, whereas at the end of the last video it was 74. I'm not trying to cheat you out of any points or anything that you don't get to watch, but uh, that's that's the reason why. I had a lot of trouble with running out of money at the start because the, the healing potions are expensive. The healer charges, uh, I think it's 40 silvers for each one, a little bit pricey. So uh, if you just keep fighting monsters and then going back to the healer to buy more healing potions whenever you start uh, getting close to death, you might st find that you're going to start uh, running out of money. So here are a few things that you can do to... Uh, kind of curb that. First of all, obviously, uh, avoid monsters which don't get you any money, uh, which is basically mainly the, uh, at the start of the game, it's pretty much just the purple saurus. Uh, if you're, uh, you know, the first time you kill a purple saurus, if you're a fighter, you'll get, I think, a point for it, but after that, don't bother with the purple saurus anymore, because it just, it, it's a money-losing proposition. You don't make any money fighting the purple saurus. You might build up some experience and strength and fighting experience, but you can do that with other monsters and still make money. Uh, one other thing, this is kind of a trick, I don't know, some people might think this is a little bit lame, so I don't know, uh, if, if you think it's lame, then I don't know, whatever. But see, I saved this game here after I just killed this brigand, I haven't searched his body yet. This is, this, uh, right here at my feet is a dead brigand that I just defeated in combat. So you can, you know, as usual, search the body. Brigands usually yield a little bit more money than goblins. You search your opponent. There we go, I find 18 silver coins and carefully place them in your pouch. That's great. So 18 is pretty good. But if you don't like how much you get from searching uh, a body, then you can just reload the game. Just restore the same game and search uh, search the body again. And you'll get a different amount. This time I got 14. So if you don't like, if you think you didn't get enough the first time, you can just reload the game. Just, just save right after you kill the opponent and then load uh, before you search the body, and then you can just keep loading and searching the body until you get an amount of money that you like. A uh, pretty good amount of money. For the brigands, around 20 is pretty good. You can you can fairly easily get 20 or a little bit more than 20 silver coins off a, a brigand's body. Goblins usually yield a fair bit less. I'd say around 10. 10 silver coins is pretty good for a goblin. But uh, yeah, you can do that so that you're not... Uh, losing too much money, because sometimes, you know, you might defeat a goblin and only get one silver, or sometimes even none, you know, get no money off it at all, so that's kind of a waste as well. So that, that's kind of a trick that you can, uh, you know, use to make yourself a little bit more money so you don't run out of money, because then you can't buy any more healing potions. You can also just pass time. I mean, when you go to sleep at Irana's Peace for the night, then you wake up in the morning completely refreshed. All your stats are filled, your health is filled, your stamina is filled. So you can just kind of pass time, just wander around until nightfall, and then go to sleep and do some more fighting the next day if you want. Uh, what you'll pretty soon find is that the situation inverts. Instead of losing a lot of money on healing potions, you actually start making more money than you lose. So it becomes uh, you know a positive cash flow scenario. Like if I look at my inventory right now, See, I've got I've got 300, oh, 304 silver coins. That's not too bad. So I'm, uh, you know, I'm I've got positive cash flow happening here at this point. I'm I'm taking in more money than I was spending. But at the beginning, I used up some of my gold coins because I had to buy so many healing potions. So I'm not going to show you my stats yet because I'm still working on them. But they're a lot better than they were, and hopefully I'll develop them a little bit more, and then we can continue on with uh, with the adventuring. Uh, also notice, when you drink a healing potion, it leaves you with an empty flask. I have seven empty flasks. You can sell these to the healer. You can just go to the healer and sell the empty flask, and she'll give you, I think it's just one silver coin. Not a big deal, but, you know, when you're starting off, every little bit helps. Also, don't forget, uh, every day you can go to the castle and work in the stables. If you go to the stables and just tell the guy, yes, you're looking for work, uh, then he'll give you five silvers for that day, which is not too bad for, you know, just kind of hanging around for a while. There's one other screen I want to show you. I'm going to run there. Uh, let me see if I can find it, because I don't remember exactly how to get there. Um, oh, this is, a, this is a cool screen. We'll come back to this later. Just a little taste of what's to come. I'm not going to talk about this right now, but yeah, that's that's fun. Sort of. Well, depending on your idea of fun, I guess. Where is the screen that I'm looking for? It's somewhere... 
around here we go this is it okay see the screen with all these goblins walking around you can see there's a little goblin helmet hiding behind there okay this is a place where you can always go to fight goblins goblins remember are the easiest monsters in the game so sometimes you know you, you get a little bit worn down and you can't fight brigands anymore because brigands are a bit tougher or something like that you just want to fight some goblins we well, can come here and uh, eventually see that there's a goblin in that bush hiding you have to wait for a goblin to let's see can I fight ugh, can I fight the bush yeah there we go goblin steps out of the bush okay and here we go and I've got this goblin that uh, that I can fight now and wow you threw that dead goblin a long way Okay, this screen is pretty good for building up your stats because search body. You find five silvers concealed in a pouch, you take the silvers. Each time you fight the goblins on the screen, you fight one more than the last time. So see I just fought a goblin now, but next time if I yeah, see eventually this guy should, come on. You have to kinda of wait for them to come out of hiding on the screen because they're sort of hiding in the bushes, but eventually if you just keep walking around long enough one should materialize. Yes? No? Maybe if I leave the screen and come back like that? Come on! Come on! Give me a... Okay. I, th I think this guy will fight me because this guy uh, stepped out of the bushes. So if I say fight, yeah, you'll fight all right. See, now there are two goblins. I might actually lose this because my health is way down. Or maybe not. Oh, I think I'm actually going to survive it. Wow. Okay, so see now there are two dead goblins, and you can search, you know, once again, search their bodies. You find four silvers tucked into his tunic. He has no use for the silvers. Into your pocket they go. This poor slob was the big loser at the poker game. He didn't even have lunch money. Okay, so this guy's got no money. But after a while, uh, next time obviously I'll fight three goblins, and so on and so on. Uh, and so they keep... You keep ending up with more of these dead goblin bodies strewn about the screen. Eventually, I think it goes up to a maximum of eight. And once you kill eight goblins, then you can you can, you can raid all their bodies for, for cash. And some of them won't have any money, but some of them have quite a bit. I think one of them has 35 silver or something like that. So once you keep coming back to the screen and keep fighting more and more goblins, you can use this as a, a relatively easy way to make money, because goblins are a relatively easy opponent. Although when they start ganging up on you, it gets tougher. But still, with the money that you make, hopefully you should be able to... Uh, to go to the healers and buy some more healing potions. So I'm not going to dwell on the screen too long. There is nothing to do on the screen in terms of adventure gaming. There's no, uh, there are no puzzles or anything like that to solve on the screen. It's just basically fighting the goblins. It's a good place to fight goblins if you like. So uh, that's it for now. I'm going to leave you with that. Hopefully you'll have good luck building up your character. And you don't need to build it up as much as I'm going to. I'm just going to build it up because I don't want that, uh, you know, those character stats to get in the way of the videos. Because that's, you know, that's... That's uh, not really something that needs to get filmed for YouTube. So. so I'll leave you folks with that. You can have fun, and hopefully in the next video we'll get back to the adventuring after I've buffed up this character some more and he's become a, a big strong man. Yes. Okay, take care everyone. I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching.